This is week two of Oscar Wilde, Shannon and Aura's excellent Oscar adventure. What did we watch? Old Arizona, the second Oscar. Actually, it was nominated for Best Picture and won for Best Actor. Um, it was Warren Baxter. He won. Um, also starring uh, Dorothy Burgess in one of her first roles. Um, she was actually selected because of her voice, and this was one of the first talking pictures. Um, also, the first Western, and the first Western that was filmed outside, mostly on location in Zion and Bryce. Um, what did you think? I thought it was funny, and I didn't think mm -hmm. it would be funny. The jokes were very quick, and um, the movement of the movie was was fast, fast-paced, and there was even some like sexual innuendo in it, which surprised me. Um, so, but it was it was hokey, you know. Ho hokey would be a good word. The <laughs> outfit that uh, he wore was very, very hokey. And you that's know, why we're wearing this. It, it had all the silver. It had, you know, the, the really sharp uh, conquistador or, you know, matador type vest. And I thought the, I thought the actor did a really good job. He's uh, maybe a hint of what's to come with some of the, uh, the leading men in the movies. There's almost maybe a touch of rakish Clark Gable in him, I thought. Right, but there was backstabbing and... Um, I want to tell the Tricking, story. trickster. Oh, it's very tricky. Of stuff. Black and white, of course. Very unrealistic. Um, but that didn't matter. Very theatrical movements, once again, but with talk, right? Um, something that Shannon noticed that I didn't notice um, with these films all together is now that we have talking, we still don't have any soundtrack. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's still pure speaking. You know, and no mood music. Right, no this music is, to establish a mood. Right, right. I'm so. being like very, very curious to see when that comes along. Uh, quick synopsis of the story. Spoiler alert: I will, in fact, tell the ending. Uh, but the movie is, you know, 80, 90 years old, so it's, it's probably not too big a surprise. Uh, but anyway, you have the Cisco Kid, and interestingly enough, the movie is actually based on an O. Henry short story. Uh, most of you will recall Henry wrote the famous Ransom of Red Chief, and not going into details, but I thought that was kind of uh, interesting in and of itself. But you have the Cisco Kid, and he's kind of this swashbuckling Robin Hood-like bandit, where yeah. you know he steals from the rich, but he won't steal from the poor. In fact, there's a scene where he holds up the stagecoach, and uh, you know he takes his brooch for his lady love, but then he pays the girl he took the brooch from because he doesn't want to hurt the average person. Right. So there's almost a hint of the Robin Hood folk hero there. Mm -hmm. Um, Definitely good versus evil, where, you know, quote unquote evil, where you want the bad guy to win, for sure. Yeah, that, that's a kind of a common theme uh, yeah. throughout the movies. Yeah. Uh, and once again, women are portrayed kind of... Except for his, his love was not. She was well, a strong woman. No, she was, she was a strong woman, but she was also a very nasty, evil, backstabbing, conniving, Using her feminine wiles. So right. That's so the ones woman. that are strong have to be conniving. Yes, yes, what it is. Okay. Yes, the strong ones can't be nice. At least so far in the first two that we've seen. Yeah, that's true. Um, there's a love triangle. Um, Sergeant Mickey Dunn Dunn is trying to track down the Cisco kid. He's on orders from the army. Um, there's a great scene where he enters the uh, the area where you get your hair cut, uh, the barber shop. And um, the Cisco kid is actually there, but he doesn't know who the Cisco kid is, and so they, they have this long conversation. Um, a friendly conversation, and he's mm -hmm. actually after the Cisco kid. Mm -hmm. Which was, has the fun irony there. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the Cisco kid's lady love, uh, Tanya Marie, is actually, she sees a lot of men on the side when the Cisco kid is gone. Um, one of these men just happens to be Mickey Dunn, who's chasing the Cisco kid. And they decide that they are going to trap the Cisco kid. Um, and of course, it doesn't work. The uh, the housekeeper is loyal to the Cisco kid. Uh, she knows they're setting up a special plan. The mom, uh, mm -hmm. not the housekeeper. The mom. Is that the Tiny Marie's mom? Yes. I thought it was the housekeeper. <laughs> oh well, Tiny Marie's mom. <laughs> anyway, she's gonna sell out Tiny Marie. So anyway, the Cisco kid he knows of the plan. He knows of the plot. <laughs> He um, decides to do a double switch type of uh, setup. Um, so, um, Tiny Marie writes this note to tell Mickey Dunn to come that night at 10 o'clock and to shoot the Cisco Kid, basically. Cisco Kid knows this is happening thanks to the not housekeeper but mom, and uh, he uh, writes his own note 
But in his note, he says he's going to switch outfits with Tanya Marie. Uh, Tanya Marie, when they try to make their escape, will wear the man's clothes. Um, he Do you want to tell me I'm really? Okay, I won't. Um, it ends up the way you want it to end up. How about that? Yeah, and kind of a surprise for a movie that old. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's too much to tell the end of the story. Okay, I'll tell the end of the story. Motivate people. So, it's very good. What is your thought of the movie? I like that. In fact, it's a, just like I was surprised by Seventh Heaven. I was kind of surprised by this one. I liked it as well yeah. as I did. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, I agree. And, you know, um, back to that original thought that we were going to struggle through the first movies, we're really enjoying them. So, goes to show that it doesn't have to be color and full of music and full of action and great graphics and great stunts for it to be actually a good, engaging film. It was. So, so what do we have coming up for next year, next week? Oh, this is an all-time classic, All Quiet on the Western Front. Much more serious film, I would say. Yeah, it does not leave you the happy And it doesn't make me have to wear a cowboy hat.